channel so for this tutorial I'm using the vanity planet brush set it comes with 15 of their brushes they're all super soft and they're shed free synthetic brushes which is really nice and I love it because it's super easy to store your brushes in and perfect for traveling I also have a coupon code for you guys that I will leave in the description box down below that'll get you 70% off the set so the brush set will only be at $30 anyways with all that being said let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial so the only palette that I'm using for my eyes today is from Violet Boss. This is their Holy Grail palette. They recently sent me this palette and I am in love with it. It's probably one of my favorite palettes now and it's the perfect warm tone palette and you guys know how I love my warm tones. But anyways, the first shade that I'm taking from that palette is Transition and Hashtag. I'm just mixing those two shades together and taking one of the um, Vanity Planet's um, blending brushes and just blending that out into my crease and I'm using this as my transition shade. The next shade I'm taking is the shade Brownie Points and I'm just putting that into my crease and blending it out. And I wanted to make this eye look super easy for you guys. I think I only used about four shades from the palette. But um, yeah, I wanted to just make it a super easy eye look that you guys could do for going out or whatever it is that you guys are planning to wear this eye look for. So the next thing that I'm doing is taking this mini angled brush and with some concealer I'm just going ahead and cutting my crease basically. And then I'm going to be taking the shade Cool Beans and popping that all over my lid. Now I'm taking the darker brown shade from the palette which is called Teddy Bear and I'm just blending that out into my outer corner of my eye and then I'm just kind of bringing it up to my crease shade so that it all blends together and then I'm going to go ahead and pop on some mascara. This is the L'Oreal Feline Mascara I think. I can't remember what it's called but I will leave everything in the description box down below for you guys. But anyways, moving on to my face, the first thing that I'm doing is moisturizing, of course. And I'm using the Kim Tai Ofra Wonderlush Moisturizer. If you guys haven't tried out this moisturizer, it's so amazing. And I do have a coupon code that you guys can use with Ofra. If you guys would like, it'll be in the description box. Um, the next thing that I'm doing is taking the Tarte Clean Slate um, Smoothing Primer. And I don't like using this primer all over my face because I've noticed my it kind of starts breaking apart. So so I don't like using it for my entire face, but I only put it in the areas that I want to fill in my pores with. And then for foundation, I'm mixing the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer in the shade Light Babe with the Laura Geller cover lock cream foundation this is in the shade sand the reason i mixed it is because the laura geller one is a little bit too dark for me but i'm in love with that foundation it's super full coverage i definitely recommend that you guys go out and try it and then for my concealer i used the la girl pro concealer in the shade pure beige And then I went ahead and just baked wherever I concealed with the Airspun Loose Translucent Powder. And then I'm just letting that sit on my face for a little bit and then I'm taking that little um, kabuki brush and just setting the rest of my face with that same Airspun Powder. And then for my bronzer, I'm using the Bomb Cosmetics Bahama Mama bronzer. I'm in love with this bronzer. It's been my go-to lately. I'm taking that powder and my mini micro beauty blender. I'm just setting underneath my bronzer so that it can be nice and clean once I dust everything off. And I did dust everything off off camera. And then I had to take my right lash off off camera because I kid you not, my eye was literally watering throughout this entire tutorial, but I was just pushing through it. But anyways, basically 
basically used the two shades that I used in my crease underneath my eyes and then I took the shade crystal from the palette and used that into my inner tear duct and then for my highlight I used Laura Geller Gilded Honey. For my lips I used the new Anastasia lip palette and can I just say that I'm in love with this palette like you guys know that I'm a liquid lipstick person so when I got this palette I was a little skeptical if on whether or not I would like it or not but I am in love with this palette all the lipsticks are super creamy and I love how you can mix colors to get a new color it's genius but the color that I used was number 11 that's it and I used a little lip brush that it came with and that's it for this tutorial. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this look. And if you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.